what up guys nakamoto crypto here today we're gonna do this a little bit different i'm reacting to a video by spencer cornelia he is talking about whether or not all cryptocurrency investing is a glorified ponzi schemes pump and dump schemes you know pretty much coming out everybody so link of that video will be in the description box below let's just get to it raise your hand if you invested in the squid game token come on i know some of you want to don't worry my friend you aren't alone new crypto has anybody invested into um, the Squid Game token? If you remember, they rug pulled everybody. Soon as they launched, everybody lost their money. And I was one of the few people who was warning people not to get into the Squid Game token. And the result is always the same. People always lose their money, unfortunately. So if you have, um, that's just too bad. Crypto coins and NFT projects are popping up left and right. And I think most of them are glorified Ponzi schemes. A Financial Times article titled Why Bitcoin is Worse Than a Madoff-Style Ponzi Scheme was posted a couple months ago. The only person associated with the Madoff scandal that remains unscathed is surprisingly Bobby Bonilla. I made a video about it, but anytime you're compared to Bernie is not a good sign. A Ponzi scheme is a zero-sum enterprise, but Bitcoin is a negative-sum phenomenon that you can't even pursue a claim against, argues Robert McCauley. This topic certainly leads to a polarizing response depending on which side of the fence you sit on. We'll see if there's an argument to be made. In its cash flow, Bitcoin resembles a penny stock pump and dump scheme more than a Ponzi scheme. This might be why Jordan Belfort is now promoting Bitcoin and crypto. Guys, here's the bottom line. Bitcoin should already be zero by now. And right now, I believe, technically speaking, the time to buy Bitcoin is right now. In a pump and dump scheme, traders acquire basically worthless stock, talk it up, and perhaps trade it among themselves at rising prices before unloading it on those drawn in by the chatter in the price action. Telling a crypto investor that their potential lottery ticket is worthless leads to a reaction similar to someone disrespecting Jorge Masvidal whenever he's trying to promote a fight. To the ex I'm not gonna lie. We do get tight when somebody's... Like when you get into the game as a crypto noob, a lot of people get tight when, when somebody like Spencer pretty much makes a video talking about how, you know, your lottery ticket is not all that. This is just pump and dump. So you might be buying at high prices in crypto and they are going to sooner or later dump on you. A lot of crypto noobs get very, very defensive. Recently, I've made a video about the drip network and no matter how neutral I try to stay in that investment look at the comment sections a lot of people were getting tight crypto noobs are always in general pretty much like that extent that real resources are used up to make bitcoin run it is costly in a way that madoff's two or three man operation was not macaulay claims that the electrical costs on the environment to mine what is essentially a zero sum game ultimately makes it a negative sum game I think most crypto coins are legalized Ponzi schemes. The reason why I believe that is a couple reasons. One, there is no utility other than vapid claims in a white paper that never come to fruition. Two, the only way to profit from your investment is to dump your coins onto someone else at a higher price. Three, people are investing with the goal of a short term flip, not because they believe in the project long term. Here's the. Re OK, so the, the with the utility part. Uh, Bitcoin is getting adopted everywhere. There's no way Bitcoin has no utility at all. And companies like MicroStrategy are buying it. Countries like El Salvador, um, Nigeria is adopting Bitcoin. You know, people are waking up to blockchain technology and just what it can do to help everybody in the future. So Bitcoin definitely has come a long way when it comes to use cases and utility compared to like four years ago or even 10 years ago. Nobody believed in it and it is still, it stood the test of time pretty much, yeah. Real reason why I made this video. Bitcoin in the last six months is down 25%. Ethereum in the last six months is down 33%. Back in September 2021, a young man told Dave Portnoy during this pizza review that he had a great investment for him. Six months later, the great investment called Hex is down about 75%. Okay, this is just um, the euphoria phase and I always, talk about this on my channel when we are hitting a euphoria phase when bitcoin was at 64,000 i was telling people take some profits if you have been here in 2020 you would have noticed that bitcoin went from $3,500 in march of 2020 all the way up to $64,000 literally a year later i believe it was april 2021 before we hit that market crash Anytime between then, if you bought it, you would have been into profit. So um, the Bitcoin halving, the four-year cycle, you need to study it. Coins like Hex. Hex did absolutely well from 2019 to 2021. But at the time, 
where this young man was shilling hex to David Portnoy. Look at the chart. It was literally at an all time high. So that is the problem with noobs and people who are just new to crypto. They any at any point they always get into the game late and they are going to be pitching it to everybody. So when this young fellow was showing this to David Portnoy, the prices was already at a levels. So that's the difference right there. Months later, the great investment called Hex is down about 75%. Million Token, a token that was hyped to be $1 million per token, is one of the worst performing assets I've ever seen. It's so bad, holding now is worse than a liability because you have the shame in believing in Tech Lead's vision on top of the losses. Right now we are seeing a- Okay, this is another thing. Tech Lead, like who would take uh, crypto investment advice from Tech Lead? Like he literally got into the game, the crypto game during the hype of last year's 2021 crypto bull run. And he, studied a little bit and then decided to come up with his own token. And then, you know, any any token that a, a YouTuber who is new to crypto tried to shill you, you should be careful of that. It doesn't matter if it's Logan Paul or, or Tech Lead. Most of these guys got into the game last year, pretty much. And they all decided to come up with their own NFT projects and people tried to shill that to you left and right and they lost a lot of money. There, there was many people that lost a lot of BNB with Logan Paul coins. It's your fault if you form more into Logan Paul crypto. What, what does Logan Paul know about uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies pretty much? They all got into the game pretty much last year. So if a celebrity comes up to you, doesn't matter if, if it's Soldier Boy or Logan Paul, shilling to you an NFT project or Mayweather's talking about Ethereum or any of this stuff. This was all laughable if you are not new to crypto. But again, they always attra attract the noobs during the euphoria phase and these things tend to happen. People fall more into this because it's a celebrity, it's a name and they tend to lose their money. A prevalence of influencers taking advantage of their fan bases. This is through pumping something they're going to dump, overhyping crappy courses, promoting scammy online casinos, and creating useless meme coins to promise crazy returns to the moon only to dump their shares and crash the project. Because of all the promotion surrounding the crypto and NFT space by influencers, many new investors lost a lot of money thinking they were investing in something of value. Squid Game Crypto Token Yo, are NFTs overrated? The NFT prices and how NFT NFTs just de exploded, especially in 2021. Are NFTs over overrated? Are they just JPEGs that you know um, not supposed to be that valuable? Are, and they are going as high as millions of dollars per one single NFT. Let us know in the comment section below. Collapses in apparent scam. A risky game played by a lot of people in hopes of getting rich quick. Sounds a lot like the Netflix show. A majority of influencers have something to sell you. In the crypto space, everyone is promoting crypto because the entire ecosystem relies on hype. It's why they get so upset at anything they consider to be FUD. How to find 10x to 100x gains in crypto. Get rich with crypto. This is how millionaires are made. If you ever want to see some clickbait mosey on down into the crypto section of YouTube land, it certainly creates FOMO in the viewers and gives off the impression that the host of the channel is making millions day trading crypto. Next 100x crypto coin. Shocking. My goal with this channel is to simply be the guy that acts as a counterbalance to the extreme amounts of influencer driven pump and dumps in pond. Okay, I'm glad that I'm I'm pretty much not one of those guys because I don't do a lot of 50x or 100x coin. If I do like a 50x or 100x coin, go back and check my channel those are not many and they are usually just hidden gems that are truly believing that they can go on but again last year even this year people are still making these kind of videos just to you know get you to click on them and and you know shill you most mostly it's just rubbish projects that have no utility and they are all sponsored so yeah my 100x projects or 50x projects projects none of none of them are sponsored these companies did not approach me i went and have a look at them and i seen the potential for example with the liquid finance video link of it will be in the description box below if you go back and check it when i was talking about it it was literally nothing and then a month or two later it just exploded because of the hype and momentum and the trend that i was able to pick on early so yeah
Ponzi schemes running amok on social media right now. I stand behind my belief that most influencer driven NFTs and crypto coins will either become a pump and dump, an overhyped project that doesn't deliver, a terrible investment, or a legalized Ponzi scheme. I say a legalized Ponzi scheme because the industry isn't regulated and no one is going to prison, but the coins are an investment with no utility and profit is only made by artificially increasing the price and dumping your shares onto the next person. This crypto could 100x fast. How can we not get hyped up at the opportunity to 100x our investment quickly? I know crypto coins and NFTs are going to be in our lives forever and will shift us into what's next into this commingling with technology life we live. In my eyes, Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies are still too volatile to be considered a store of value. I'll give you an example. Odell Beckham Jr. suffers major salary loss after Bitcoin decline. This tweet by Darren Ravel shares that OBJ signed a deal with the Rams for $750,000. Because OBJ earned that amount as income, he'll be taxed on the $750,000. Federal income taxes, California taxes, and agent fees all take at least 50%, so he'll net only about $370,000. He decided to get paid in Bitcoin, which at the time was around $64,000 a coin. Due to the massive drop, his Bitcoin would now be worth around $413,000 after paying in taxes. OBJ made $43,000 this season with the Rams. That doesn't... Here's another example. When people were shilling Bitcoin to Odell Beckham Jr., until he like look at the price of bitcoin at the time where he was saying to these football leagues hey pay me into bitcoin look at the price of btc it was at sixty four thousand two hundred and ninety three dollars what does this tell you about these guys they are new to the crypto game and when people are shilling them to this this is during the euphoria phase uh he didn't ask those people to pay him into bitcoin when it was at twenty thousand nineteen thousand at the beginning of um january of 2021 he waited or Pretty much he got into the game late. At $64,000, you're asking people to pay you into Bitcoin. If he knew the mechanics with Bitcoin, if he understood what Bitcoin halving was, he's a famous football player. At least somebody in his camp should have known better because right now, every hundred people, one of them at least heard about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. So they knew, they know about what the mechanics and uh, everything is about cryptocurrency. If they warned him, they told him that these prices are too high maybe he would have saved a lot of money again this is not fair to you know blame bitcoin and crypto the crypto market and you know if he understood it he would have you know he, he just needed to do more research that's all $43,000 a season with the Rams. That doesn't indicate a store of value to me. That sounds like a risky investment that hasn't paid off. It could be a store of value down the road, but certainly not today. Investing in crypto is gambling. There's no way around it. Could some of these coins 10X in the next year? 100% possible. Could a lot of them lose 90% of their value? That's possible too. This video isn't so much focused on the more established coins since I think some of them like Bitcoin or Ethereum will be around for a long time. This video is more about the coins or NFT projects that are influencer driven. Almost all of them are pump and dumps or Ponzi schemes. The reason why- Now this is the fair valid point that he makes. So in the beginning of video, it seems like Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are all pump and dumps and that it, during the end of the video, he made a point that this is not about the established projects such as Bitcoin or Ethereum or Cardano. He's talking about the coins that the the the, the Ty Lopez wannabes are shilling you pretty much. You know, the, the they salesmen pretty much. A lot of crypto, you know, most of us are shills in, in this cryptocurrency space. We're always trying to sell you some next 100x project. I don't do that in every single one of my videos. I'm mostly focused on newbies and always warning them, hey, before you put your money into this, think about this. I was doing that last year as well with the ADAX fiasco and all of these projects. And look what happened, you know, when did when did that, that coin 100x? So I was one of the few people when everybody was jumping into the ADAX wave, talking about this is the next 100x. I was warning people saying, hey, have a look at this FUD here. Take a deep dive, do a deeper research and understand if something like this comes out against a project, you're going to want to step back before you put your money into it. And the truth is in the pudding, even with DeFi total value locked and everything. Pretty much Sunday Swap took the game and Musely Swap and all these other DEXs and, you know, look what happened. 
reason why I showed the charts earlier is to simply remind you that when you're investing with an asset class like crypto, if you buy into the hype and miss time when you enter into the market, you could lose a substantial amount of money as seen by an investor who started investing six months ago. If you go on coinmarketcap.com, they compile a list of the biggest gainers and biggest losers in the last 24 hours. What's the difference? The top gainer side are coins during their pump phase. The top loser side are coins during their dump phase. Do I think the entire crypto market is a Ponzi scheme? Of course not. My real opinion is that most of these NFTs and crypto coins are unregulated venture capital funds. The projects have lofty goals and a vision, no revenue, are raising money to complete the project, and are incredibly risky investments. It's why I don't see crypto as a scam or anything. It's just gambling with currencies and hoping that the project you invested in comes to fruition. Here's an excellent research paper titled An Examination of the Cryptocurrency Pump and Dump Ecosystem by the authors listed on the screen. We we then collected price data on nearly 2,000 coins across 220 cryptocurrency trading exchanges from CoinMarketCap.com, the leading website of aggregated data on cryptocurrency trading during the six-month period from January to June 2018. Overall, we identified thousands of pump and dump schemes on Discord and Telegram that took place during the six-month period from January to June 2018. This paper was written in 2018, but you can still apply it in 2022. When there's quick money to be made, pump and dumps and Ponzi's will be created. Stay safe, my friends. Thanks for watching. All right, so this was a so this was a dope video by um, Spencer Cornella. Shout out to him, and yeah, it, he makes a lot of valid points in this. So the bottom line to learn in this game, crypto game, is just you need to do a lot of research. I know it takes up a lot of your time. Most of you have jobs and everything. I also have a full time job as well. Sometimes we don't have time to research, but before you get into anything in this crypto space, before somebody try to sell you anything, doesn't matter if it's a YouTuber or if it's somebody on Reddit that just pops up and say, hey, this is the next 100x thing. Before you put your money into it, before you fall more into anything, research it, look it up. So because chances are it's not. Um, when I was getting into this crypto game, back in 2017 there was only about 500 ish or less than a thousand projects on coin market cap now there's like thousands of them it's like you can't even count it every single day there's a new project and there's projects inside projects that never happened we didn't have DeFi back then all i knew was bitcoin and ethereum and dogecoin back then and now you have uh, hundreds of projects inside cardano alone thousands of projects inside ethereum and that can be problematic to an extent it can be a good thing for adoption with DeFi and all of this stuff but regulations everything uh, a crackdown is coming pretty much on all of these people you know a crackdown will be coming in so did you like the reaction did you like this video do you do you want to see more of these reaction videos where we just chill and relax and watch a video talk about it put our perspective in let us know in the comment section below like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out